Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. I keep hearing about this impossible burger at Burger King, no less at a fast food restaurant. And I thought, I am not holier than thou. I wanna give this a chance. There's a lot of skepticism around this burger, there's a lot of attention. And I think this is sort of a shift and like a good movement, I think, a good shift for fast food. But if it tastes like crap, what's the point? I'm excited, I'm excited. Good, hopefully. I have not eaten at Burger King so I I maybe 10 years. My first job was at the Burger King. So I haven't eaten really? since I was a teenager. Really? Yep. That's a video. How do I look? Okay, sure. <laughs> we do. We're a YouTuber. Uh, I gotta try this Impossible Whopper. I need. Uh, I need three of these bad boys. All right. You want them in a meal or just the sandwiches? What do you want? Just a meal. Uh, just sandwich is fine. Just a sandwich is fine. This for here to go. It's for here. Ready? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. What is the Impossible Whopper made of? Our Impossible Whopper sandwich features a savory flame grilled patty made from plants topped with juicy tomatoes, fresh lettuce, creamy mayonnaise, ketchup, crunchy pickles, and sliced with white onions. But what is this actual beef made out of? Let's see. Hang tight, let me get the burgers. This burger came out August 9th. Pretty substantial. All right, so this Impossible Whopper is made from soy protein, potato protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and heme. Not gonna lie, I have no idea what that is. Heme, it's a protein found in plants that carries iron, an iron-containing molecule that is essential to life. Although heme has been consumed every day for hundreds of thousands of years, Impossible Foods discovered that it's uh, what makes it blah, 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 blah. So basically this thing's been around for quite some time. Uh, we're just hearing about it. All right, let's try the burger. Not really an onion fan. It smells like a burger. All right, let's dive in this bad boy. It honestly tastes pretty good to me. Good. I can't really tell. I have to taste difference. I have to taste just the. I'm gonna have to taste just the patty because all together it doesn't yeah. taste much different. Yeah. Good call. Pretty convincing ruffle cut. Yeah. 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 Without a doubt. I think it's good. I think it's pretty damn good. Too. The question, Matt, is from a health and fitness perspective, is this a better choice? It's coincidental you asked that, Travis. The stats on the regular Whopper, the standard Whopper as compared to this, are almost identical. <clears throat> the calories on both are 630 calories, and then it's marginally different by way of actual macros. So Impossible Burger, 58 carbs, 34 grams of fat, 25 of protein. A regular Whopper, 57 carbs, 35 of fat, and 25 of protein. And there lies the dilemma that people automatically think that this is a healthier burger. Sure, there might be some things in here that is better than a standard Whopper, but by way of calories and macronutrients, you're not doing anything differently, which always boils back down to, if you're trying to lose fat, neither the standard Whopper or this one is superior. But isolate proteins and stuff like that in this as compared to the other, yes, I would choose this. I've been eating a lot of red meat, wouldn't this be better? Where I'm currently at with red meat or meat in general is the processing part of it. Like for my heart, how we process meat in the western area of the world, I feel is atrocious. Um, that's where I come from. I think if you're active and you're eating red meat, it's a different story. I'm no cardiologist, uh, but I think that it's all about balance there, bro. All right, let's go. Thank you. All right, that was pretty good. I liked it. Um, I would eat that again. Yeah, long story short, if you're going to eat a Whopper, I would choose the Impossible Whopper over the regular Whopper, yes. At the end of the day, 
It's about the calories and the macro breakdown. You try to shoot for as clean of food as you can. The most holistic ingredients is always the best. You don't have to be perfect at the You don't have to be perfect at this impossible burger thing. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day. Right, Travis? Right. Never did intro Travis, didn't you?